What's up everyone, your auto agent here again uh, with a quick uh, tour, video interior tour. And today we are in a 2020 GMC 2500 Sierra Denali. So the Denali is of course your top of the line trim. This is gonna have every available option. To this video is just on the interior. Um, so I'll give you a quick little 360 view um, and give you an idea of what this vehicle comes with. Uh, and the interior on this is called a dark walnut, dark ash. So I don't know if it comes through really well, um, you know, today. But I mean, here's here's the uh, a shot of the seats right there. Um, and again, an exclusive thing with the dolly is going to have the stitch headrest uh, with the name. So. So you remember what model that you have. So let's take a look at uh, the steering wheel and what the driver is looking at when they're driving. Um, so this is the current interior 2020. Um, stuff you can kind of expect. Steering wheel mounted controls. Um, controls here for cruise control. Uh, forward collision warning systems to activate and deactivate. And then the heated steering wheel uh, on this as well. On the other side you're going to have media controls for voice command. Uh, volume, um, skip forward and back, a menu selection buttons, you know, a little scroll wheel plus uh, press to select. Um, so this this will control mainly um, the driver information center. I have the vehicle parked right now. You can see, you know, so the little white square on the left is a, a speed limit sign reader. So once I start driving, if the vehicle picks up, you know, um, I believe it's uh, satellite information, it'll display. The current speed limit for the area that you're in um, and then if you press these arrows right here um, again the knowledge of the center cluster is all digital so we can cycle through different views different windows uh, different information depending on what you want to see like right now I just popped into the navigation screen it's not active um, you know get a phone uh, category um, it responds pretty quickly pretty nicely it's not very glitchy uh, the graphics are sharp, they're clear, um, so let's just go back to the home and um, you know, that'll show, that'll show my, my speedometer and, and, and my fuel which looks like it's low and the time here on the top. Uh, the other gauges on top too as well, these are all digital. Um, I won't go into how to customize it right now, we're doing a quick overview. Um, but again, you can adjust a lot of driver preferences here and the type of information that you see. Um, vehicle controls are, are located close to the steering wheel, so you don't have to look for a whole lot of stuff. They're here on the on the on the left side, easy easy to read, easy to reach. Um, big knobs, big buttons, um, with symbols that are you know relatively easy to understand. Uh, this is your tow haul mode, where you can adjust the gain for trailering and everything. Um, and then all your four-wheel drive controls are right here. Four-wheel drive high, low, and then two-wheel drive. Um, lights, fog lamps, cargo box, um, all the light controls to set them for auto or turn them off, turn them on. Um, parking brake, the step on kind is gone. So you can see there's nothing down there, it's just a footrest now. So they go into electronic, where you press to engage and press again to release. Um, some people like this, some people don't. Um, I think it's pretty easy to, you know, to, um, it kind of gives your foot a break from, you know, pressing the brake and knows exactly how much pressure to amount to, to apply to the brake, depending on the weight. Um, and then on your gauges, it tells you whether it's engaged or not. So if I press it right now, if you see on the top left, well, it's asking me to step on the brake before I release the parking brake. You know, it disappears, and then if I want to engage it again, Everything I need to know is going to be right there. You know, it pops up. Um, let's take a look at the door because there's a whole host of buttons right here too as well. Uh, window controls, side mirror controls, you know, um, memory seating for two, and then an easy exit mode. It's kind of a General Motors thing that they do a lot. Uh, the lock and unlock. But let's take a quick look, closer look at the side mirrors because look at this. Again, this is a 2500 heavy duty and look at those trailering mirrors so if you see on the top left corner you see the little car symbol which is your blind zone warning light 
if there's something there that's going to light up at, a, at an amber color. Um, but check this out. You have your side mirror controls plus these two other buttons. This is a power folding button and a power extending button. So let's let's see how, let's play around with these. So we're gonna do a power folding right now, which is this one. There I am. So they fold in nice and tight both sides. And then let's see extend. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull them in and uh, fold them in just because I'm in between two cars right now. So you press and hold and they're gonna retract inside. So no need to roll down your window or go outside and pull them in and out. Um, it's all about comfort and convenience with the Denali here. Let's roll the window back up here. All right, so let's go down the center cluster. Uh, but before we do that, let's hit the rear view mirror. Why? Because check this out, the rear view mirror, right? Standard rear view mirror. But if you wanna take a better look to the back, flip it and I got a rear view camera. And I don't know if this comes through really well on video, but it is sharp, it has some nice definition, uh, really clean lines, that means to the edge, I mean, it's like you're looking back there. So you just kind of flick the tilt button here, regular mirror, rear view camera, rear view camera. Now this isn't your parking camera, this is just to see behind you if you want to get a better wider view. So that's a nice little General Motors feature. So let's go down the center console. I believe this is a eight inch screen. They've gotten a little bit sharper. The graphics are a little bit cleaner. Um, this is the latest version of the Chevrolet MyLink. Um, again, I'll probably do another video, you know, going through this system because there's just a host of features. Uh, but operation is, is basically the same as the previous system. There's a home button and then different pages that you can scroll through. Um, the screen you can it is uh, pressure sensitive so even if you're wearing gloves you can press it um, and then shortcuts down here um, they try to make it look like current smartphones so it's very familiar to people uh, Wi-Fi capability 4G LTE um, again this is all customizable too as well you can delete icons move them around and again I'll probably do in the video just highlighting this system itself uh, not a whole lot of stuff um, some people may like this, some people don't, but it's a very simplistic layout. Uh, I personally prefer it because um, it doesn't feel overwhelming. Um, all the controls are there. They're pretty easy to understand. There's big buttons, graphics that make sense. Um, some people like them to be a little bit more flashier and when, where they have buttons everywhere and everything's touch. Um, but again, that's individual preference. So basically media controls here, um, temperature controls there. You know, you got lot knobs for left a driver and passenger for temperature control dual zone and um, accessories are going to be down here in this bar and we'll go through them here really quickly uh, before that I mean Denali heated seats ventilated seats so you'll be good regardless of the weather whether it's hot or cold outside uh, accessories um, again no blank switches here again this is the Denali um, so if you have all of them loaded up you get a brake exhaust or exhaust brake button lane departure warning button, parking sensor button, um, you know, hazard lights. Uh, this particular one, this has the multi-versatile uh, tailgate, so this will unlock the tailgate in the back and drop it. Um, Traction control, and then um, the power outlet um, button, so you can send juice to this area. And then descent control right here. Um, and, and actually I, I made a mistake here here's the gain button uh, for the trailering control so um, the actual tow haul mode this will change uh, whether you wanted to go normal or off-road mode okay so the actual gain button is right here I missed that okay um, USB plugs USB C and then your standard USB power points Wireless charging, cubby, cup holders, nice size, and then a nice center console. I mean, it's completely empty right now, so it's pretty deep. You could probably, I mean, right here, these are little slots to hang filing folders in. So it's deep enough for that, maybe a tablet, you know. Um, 
SD card slot, more USB ports, auxiliary port. Um, so whether, I mean, for passengers you'll be good. Can't see it now, but this is a lighted box. The light's actually, that's right there. So at night, you can still see it pretty good. Uh, rear passenger seating for three. There's fold down uh, center console. There's the back rest storage cubby down there. Um, and I'll, I'll highlight probably that in another video when we do a little bit more of a walk around on this truck. Um, rear sliding window. Um, it's not equipped with DVDs or the headrest or anything like that. Um, I believe that is an accessory or you can order them that way. Um, and then for those of you that like the open air, there's a sunroof, nice size sunroof, uh, which doesn't, you don't lose a lot of headspace with this one because the roof is kind of raised, so you can still get a nice sunroof and, and not, you know, lose headroom here. Um, your on-sign controls on this truck are right here, and then sunroof, shades, tilt are all up here, so I hope you guys can see that. Um, Again, for a uh, premium, their top of the line truck is going to have all the technology and controls you can expect without, and again, something with the GM products, they don't make it look overwhelming. So this will do just about anything any other truck can do, just it's a lot easier to figure out, in my personal opinion. Um, there's another little cubby right here on the dash. So nice, nice, nice. Overall, it's a, it's a very clean, straightforward, not a whole lot of fluff layout. Materials are carefully chosen. I mean, from what I can tell, there's not anything. They don't do any of the lacquer or piano finishes that you know that would cause glare. Um, at the end of the day, it is still a truck, so um, they choose materials that are gonna, you know, withstand or resist, you know, some some use, you know, if, if you. But you know, uh, that that's gonna make this uh, practical everyday everyday use because again again it is it is a very nice truck but it's still a truck um, so if you have this truck let me know how you've liked it um, if you're thinking about getting this truck if you have any questions comments you can leave them below uh, other than that I hope you guys are having a great day wherever you're watching this and we'll see you on the next video